Cosplays and welcome back to Sondering Tarot. Once again, we'll be using the Tarot of Dreams for today's daily tarot reading. This is for the uh, 21st of March 2024. Let's see what's happening for the day. Okay, my lovelies, we have all your cards out on the table. We have uh, two aces, about six major arcanas, and we have three synchronicities showing up. We have 555, 666, and 888. Alrighty. The best part of your day. We start out with the uh, Six of Cups in the reverse. The Five of Pentacles in the reverse. The Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. The Knight of Cups in the reverse. The Six of Pentacles in the reverse. The Five of Cups in the reverse. The Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. And uh, the Queen of Swords. Okay. Wow. I'd say, uh, wanting things to change for the better. And it's not for the lack of uh, trying, actually. Um, hmm. Not in a bad spot, actually. You may perceive it, though, that way. That things are falling on their face. But the more you look at things, the more you realize the circumstances really actually aren't that bad. Are they where you want them to be? Or is, is things done? Is things organized? Um, you know, are they, are they coming into fruition the way you foresaw? It? No. However, are your circumstances really that dire? Are they really that bad? No. Queen of Swords. Today we have an opportunity to see things for what they are, to gain clarity, to see our circumstances as ever-changing and ever-evolving from day to day. And even if we think things really are not as we desire, and the universe seems to be taking more than giving. If we think about it, our circumstances can improve with each new dawn, with each new day. Huh. Okay. Mm. Keep going forward. There's a little bit of uh, needing to count yourself lucky, needing to count yourself uh, grateful, since that's the best thing we can do for the day, is to realize things are not that bad. Things could be worse for our circumstances. There is a great room for improvement in our circumstances. Okay. We actually quite, have quite a lot for the worst part of our day, so let's jump into this part. We have a Page of Cups in the reverse. The Ten of Cups in the reverse. The Page of Wands. The Ace of Wands. The Four of Wands in the reverse. The Eight of Swords. The Queen of Wands in the reverse. The Three of Cups in the reverse. The Palace of Pentacles, which is an additional card in this deck. And because we have additional cards in this deck and they are on the table, I was told not to do the numerology today, by the way. Um, we have the uh, Two of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles in the reverse. The Knight of Swords in the reverse. 
the Five of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Palace of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. Okay. See, this is where it gets dicey. We're stuck in the uh, illusion that uh, things are not as they should be. We're dissatisfied. It's that uh, uh, the universe is taking more than it's giving energy that we saw before. We may be dissatisfied. And that really leads us uh, to doing things out of time, out of step, out of flux. Um, to just force it to, to change the way things are because we perceive ourselves as uh, stuck. But sometimes when we feel that pressure or we're just dis dissatisfied, we can be a little reckless. We can be a little rash. Um, sort of like, okay, well, we're not getting anything anyway, so we'll, I'll just do this. And that is not going to help add stability whatsoever. In fact, it, it's very much a wrong action that ends up taking more from you than what you think. So you're undermining yourself. There's a chance to undermine yourself on accident. Um, and it's because you're probably just fed up with the way things are. And carrying the attitude of, oh, okay, well, this isn't going to fix itself. Well, I'll fix it. Ooh. Ooh. So you try to take charge of the circumstances rather than moving with the energy where it is. And that that's a complete choice. And unfortunately, it's the wrong action. It's the wrong direction to head in. It's one that is made out of frustration. It's one that's made out of anger. It's one that's made out of disappointment. You see nothing but uh, the conflict, but you don't see the the clarity at all about the situation. All you do is see the negative, and that is exactly what you're running with. It's going to lead you to be reckless. Ooh. Mm. Okay. So maybe a little bit jumping the gun? not spending enough time actually looking at everything, going, okay, where's the silver lining? Is this beneficial for me to be where I'm at? Is this a time of rest? Is this a time where I, I need to let the chips fall where they may? Is this the time where I need to press forward? Is this the time I need to make a risk or take a risk? Okay. So not taking the time to pause, to assess, to get to the heart of everything might actually inadvertently cause you to do more damage to yourself, to others, to the circumstance, to compound the problem. Okay. Let's see what they have over here, what they gave us for the obstacle or how to get over the obstacle. We have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. The Lovers in the reverse. The King of Swords in the reverse. The Wheel of Fortune. The Hierophant. The Emperor. Followed by the Empress. The Sun. Yeah, and we end on the King of Wands. <laughs> yeah, the best thing you can do is slow down. To not try to fix everything, not try to do everything. Instead, actually take that step back until you see clearly. Why? Because there's things there that you're going to miss if you don't. So some of your connections are not being made. 
So when things are not being seen or information uh, is lacking in some format, that slowing down, taking that step back is kind of vital, more beneficial to you, especially when it comes to uh, the way ahead. When it does come time to move forward, when it does come time to take action with this King of Wands to move forward and start fixing, correcting, you know, being hands-on again. Hmm. I almost want to say a pause for a cause, but... Uh, They still kind of like the energy better of how did you put it? Circumstances change with the dawn. Whether that means it's something's not permanent and you're thinking it's permanent, or things will change quickly enough. You just need to hold still for a second in order to realize, okay, it's not that bad. It's not permanent. It's not that harsh. Uh, things will change in due time. So there's no need to rush it. There's no need to go out of my way and do something about it. Hmm. Okay. I'd be curious to know what this is for all of you. So for, you know, if you're not shy, go ahead and share in the comment section down below. Because I'd definitely be curious to know. And reminder, we are not doing the numerology for today. They gave me additional cards. My ancestor did not um, want me to actually do it. Um, although, I, I did add them up anyway. Um, and that just coincides with one of our synchronicities, 555, but oh, that's just my curious mind on that one. The astrology for the day, Sun in Aries, six tiles, Pluto in Aquarius. Yeah, there can be an opportunity for you to transform something for the better. It can lead to more opportunities, insights, and power. Yeah, sometimes it's more powerful just to step back and let things go. <laughs> let the chips fall where they may to be hands off for a, a time Venus is in Pisces conjuncts with Saturn in Pisces responsibilities and relationships can be easier to handle be more committed to those you have great connections with uh, and that on the opposite means you might disconnect from those that you don't alright my lovelies um, I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. Hopefully it resonated for you. And if it does, by all means, give me a big thumbs up. It's a good way to let me know that you resonate with the reading. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.